Hello everyone, welcome back to my Nuzlocke. You might have noticed that when I was grinding, I did not know that uh, Luxray, uh, I'm sorry, not Luxray, Shinx evolves into Luxio at level 15. So say hello to Luxio. <laughs> my bad, I really didn't want to miss stuff like evolutions off stream. Totally my bad. I did not know that uh, Luxio evolved this early. Uh, I thought it would be like level 20 at least, so Totally my bad. I also made Keyleth up to level 14, Dissa up to level 14, and that's- oh yeah, and Amethyst up to level 15. That's all I've, uh, that's what I've done. I think I'm good. I think I'm set for this fight, this Mercury fight. So I'm gonna go head off and do that fight now. That's how we're starting off the episode, right into this boss fight. Uh, I'm a little bit nervous because I don't know what I'm really getting ready for. I've decided to start with Dissa, mostly because I feel like She's a safe choice for the beginning. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure if that's the case. I don't know what she's gonna send out first. I just know uh, that the Pokemon that she has is a ugly. Uh, the, I think it's per, it's per ugly. I think it's per ugly. Okay, yeah. So I'm gonna hope for the best and hope my print plup can handle it. I'm about to fight her. I might fight this goon first. I don't know. I don't know how it works. Okay, root for me, everybody. Here we go. Uh, I have nothing else. I don't think there's anything else I can prepare for. Let's go. Could I have talked to him first? Okay. I'm one of Team Galactic's three commanders. We've been trying to create a new world that's better than this one, but people have shown little understanding about what we do. You don't understand either, do you? It's a little saddening. So let's have a battle to decide what we should do next. If I win, you leave. If, if you win, we Team Galactic will leave. Okay. Uh, I'm scared. I have no idea what's about to happen. Commander Mars! I've been saying Mercury this whole time. Oh, we'll do that. Oh my god! We have the exact same Pokemon, a level 14 female Zubat. Okay. I guess I could go for the who's better angle in this, or I could not risk it and switch out. I think I'm gonna start with Zubat. Let's just go for it. Let's just, let's just see what happens. I'm faster and it hit. Yes, great job. A plus start. Okay, I am very nervous. I, I think I can do this. I think I can do this as long as I'm careful and she doesn't have any too strong. Yes, hurt, hurt themselves with confusion. Perfect. Okay, 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 good, 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 good. Um, I'm going to bite. Because of the flinching capability. Come on, come on. Okay, oh no, they already snapped out of confusion. Oh no, no, they used bite. Ah! Uh, oh, okay, they didn't do too much damage. I think I'll be alright. Uh, hopefully, hopefully I can get her to use her potions early on. If she has potions, I can get her to use them early on right now with this bite. Yeah, they'll, if, if they have a potion, they'll definitely use it. Oh, I'm a flying poison type. It's gonna do one point to me. One point ex exactly. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, let's let's finish this. Yes! Oh wait, no, I wanted her to use a potion. Well, maybe she doesn't have any potions. No, I remember now. Her Progly has a berry. It has a berry, right? And like, it heals from the berry. That's not great news. Um, okay. I'm switching to Keyleth. And I know that's a super dangerous move, but the reason I'm doing that is I want to try to land a Stun Spore. If I can land a Stun Spore, that'll be extremely helpful in the fight. So let's go, Keyleth. Alright, how strong is her Perugly? Oh, that's not too bad, but... <sighs> Maybe I was thinking of another fight. I, I think she has strong moves. This Perugly definitely probably has some strong moves. Let me just be careful. Okay, scratch. Maybe I just had a tough time with her as a kid. <gasps> oh! Oh no! Okay! So it's just that this Perugly has a super high attack stat. So what I'm gonna do is switch to Amethyst. Because Amethyst has a super strong defense and is a rock type. That should be fine. Oh, dark is normal against that. But I, but I, but I have high defenses, right? Okay, not too bad, not too bad. Let's try to get. Oh yeah, also my amethyst learned uh, magnitude. Uh, I'm gonna actually. This is gonna be a very strange move on my part. I want to be able to go first, so I'm gonna use rock polish. So I can keep going first. Yeah, that's. I can do anything. I'm doing like four damage. Yeah. Now I'm gonna go first throughout the fight. Ooh, I'm still nervous. Okay. Now let's use this new move. Let's use Magnitude. I, I know that might not do a lot of damage, but I think it's worth the No, I'm still going second? That's a wasted move on my part. All right, I'm not gonna use Rock Polish again. Oh, six, that's not too bad. Or it is bad. I don't know anything. Okay, I'm gonna use Rock Throw and then I'm probably gonna switch. Oh, 
fine, it's fine. High defenses. I'm gonna switch, though. There we go. At least I landed a little rock throw. Good, 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 good. Now she's gonna eat the berry. We're just gonna get some of her health back up. That's okay. That's alright. Um, I'm not risking anymore. Let's switch to Jester. Oh, man, I really wish that Stun Spore got in. I know Stun Spore isn't a very accurate move, but it would have been super helpful that if I got in. This should probably be fine. I, I actually, I don't know. Jester doesn't have the highest of defenses. Okay, that's that's mostly fine. Um, I forget what Metal Claw does. I think it lowers accuracy, right? Which would be good. Let me check her moves. Metal Claw does 50 damage, and can also it may raise. Oh no, it raises the user's attack stat. Uh, bubble and bubble will have this uh, have the stab effect where I do more damage. But oh my god, it only does 20. 20 power. That, I didn't realize how bad that was actually until just this moment. So definitely going with Metal Claw. Alright, let's go with Metal Claw. Yeah, I'll probably, I'll probably be fine. I did more damage than I thought it would. Okay. Oh, that did like nothing! That did like no damage! Shoot! Oh no, I gotta switch after this attack! Yep, gotta switch. Shoot, this is, yeah, this is, this, I was right, this Brugly is a hard fight. Okay, at least they're low. They're low now. Let me think. Can't bring out Take Two because of Psychic Type and Faint Attack. Faint will kill it. Uh, faint, faint Attack will kill it. Will Faint get Faint? Ironically enough, I guess I gotta put Faith in Kaminari. Cat versus Cat, or, well, yeah, basically a Lion versus Cat. This might, this might be my only option. I just have to be, I have to be hopeful. I forgot about his Intimidate! Oh, my bad. All right, that that, that would have been smart to start with that, but it's okay. It's not going to help too much. Intimidate's not the greatest. It doesn't actually lower the attack that much. But I think this will be okay. Yeah, I think we got this. This is done. Let's use Bite. All right, it's still faster than me. That's not great. As long as this isn't a critical hit, I think we're good. Mm-hmm. Oh, come on! I hate when that happens. All right, let's finish this. And we're done. Whew. That that was a little closer than I wanted it to be, but ultimately we did it. No deaths. This can't be. I lost you. You uppity brat. What the heck does uppity mean? Oops, I messed that one up. That's all right though. I quite enjoyed our battle. That's a very different attitude than you just held. I guess it's time for me to say goodbye and leave uh, for the time being. Yep. Now give me something. Team Galactic, they were saying that they had to gather Pokemon energy no matter what. It's for creating a new universe, or so they claimed. Nothing they said made any sorts of sense to me. Uh, I can't tell how grateful I am for I am for you saving me. I can finally see my little daughter again. Uh, oh, so I, I thought her Pokemon was stolen. I guess it was just that her dad, yeah. Okay, Papa, yuck, Papa, you're stinky. Go shower now. <laughs> Such a random thing to say. Uh. Uh, thank you, trainer. You made those bad people go away. I think the balloon Pokemon will come visiting again. Oh, I guess I couldn't catch Drift Elemental then. Do I get anything? I don't get anything for this! Come on! I literally saved your dad's life. Oh, lame. Off to heal, and then off to the new route where we'll catch another new Pokemon. Hopefully it's a Buizel. Uh When I was training, I found Buizel in the... Uh, the grass, which was cool. This is a long, this is a long route. Lots of trainers, uh, lots of grass, lots of obstacles. And there might actually, I might, I might need Rock Smash, which will suck. But I have to switch out Pokemon again, but that's okay. Uh, let's just get right into it. You saw the sweet honey on the tree. Yeah, I'm not doing the honey thing, like I said. Uh, let's catch Pokemon first. Let's, let's see what exciting Pokemon we find in the dawn of day. As Dawn, well, the character, the original character's name is Dawn. Weasel! What are the odds of that? Oh, dang it, I need another name. Oh, <laughs> uh, what do I name the water? What do I name the water? Is there any... It's a girl. Is there any girl... Water... Weasel otter things? I am the worst at this, guys. I'm sorry. All right, let's just try to catch it. Uh, let's go with Supersonic and Astonish. Oh, of course! Sprinkles! I'll name it, I'll, I'll, I don't even know if Sprinkles is a boy or a girl in the show, but I don't really care. I think it's, I think it's a boy, but who cares? Uh, Sprinkles! Weasel's gonna be called Sprinkles. Of course. And it's funny because Jester is Prinplup, so it's like the two water types, you know? Uh, cool. 
That's that's a name. Finally, I think of a name before I catch them. I think that's the first time that's happened. Oh wait, no, Keyleth. I did that with Keyleth. I can imagine like the 10 second pause trying to think of a name when I said critical role weasel. I'm sure all of you guys are like, come on! Like, like obviously! <laughs> like, I, like I, I don't even, I, I must have seemed like that was like joking or something, but I swear I just couldn't think of anything. All right, let's get him. Oh, that didn't even shake once. Let's use Leech Life. Because that does like really anything. Oh, I hope I hope when I enter the Eterna Forest, I can catch a Baneri. Baneri is by far one of my favorite Pokemon, which is kind of a shame because Lopania is like a weirdly sexualized Playboy Bunny Bunny. So like I shouldn't like the Pokemon, but I do. But I, I think I like Baneri. It's one of the few cases where I like a pre-evolution more than its evolution. I like Baneri way more than Lopani. Uh, it has a flotation sack. That's wow. If only. Sprinkles had a flotation sack that makes it inflatable <laughs> instead of being waterboarded. Naming you Sprinkles. <laughs> I said that like Jester intentionally. Here we go. New Pokemon. Woo! Okay, uh, let's uh, Pokemon battle, I guess. Oh, or we can do that. Can you imagine like, that happening? Like you're walking and you're like, ooh, somebody I want to talk to, like right in front of me that I want to have a battle with. And then like a snail <laughs> comes up and is like, no, you fight me first. <laughs> If you actually start thinking about Pokemon, it's an extremely strange, surreal experience. This is getting low on health. I haven't used Take-Two in a long time. Let's fight with Take-Two. Only because I'm concerned. Take-Two has very low defenses, and it, can only, it only has one move. So, like, I know I need to keep uh, leveling him up. Uh, to get to Kadabra, but at the same time, I'm like, eh. I'm gonna probably end up replacing Take Two with a fire type like Ponyta, or uh, like if I, if I get Ponyta, I'm definitely naming a cable. Any fire type I get, which isn't like, there's barely like any fire types in in Sinnoh, which that's a big bummer. Uh, but um, any fire type I get, I'm definitely naming Caitlyn, obviously. That's just that's just the fact. I may not love Printplup's design too much, but I do like its cry. The the Piplup uh, voice uh, recordings, super solid. Like, really creative stuff. It sounds arctic-y, which... Ar arctic, arctic, arctic y <laughs> You know what I'm saying. I had a shiny pony to once. I lost it. I was very, very, very bad at managing my Pokemon when I was a teen. I, like, restarted games without giving a crap. It was, a uh, Super bad, and I don't know what happened to that shiny Ponyta. I thought I, I thought I saved it in the Pokebank, but I couldn't find it, and I just made bad, bad, bad choices. Yeah, this is one of those routes that's so long that um, that uh, I can't even talk. That um, there's like a healing halfway through. Like there's a house with a lady who's like, oh, you, you look so tired. Uh, sleep here, you know, like that whole deal. Uh, that I I hate I kind of hate those things. You know why? Because you and this has happened to me so many times in so many RPGs, especially in Pokemon, where I'm on this route and I'm like halfway through and I'm like, oh man, I really need to use my healing items, and I use all of my healing items, and then like three steps later, like immediately after, there's somebody who's like, oh, I'll heal everything for you, and you're like, no, I just did that for no reason. Like, oh man, I imagine that's happened to you guys so many times too, right? Uh, what's this? Oh, I can sell that. Yay, money, basically. Uh, all right, let's uh, let's train uh, Take Two some more. Take Two and uh, Dissa really need to uh, level up. I have been neglecting Take Two, which is bad, because uh, I want Take Two to evolve. Or maybe not, I don't know, it may not be worth it. Uh, I have nothing against Take Two, but I'm saying, like, as a team composition-wise, I need a fire type on my team, or I would like a fire type on my team, especially since my next uh, fight is with a grass-type gym. Uh, so, or even a flying type, a flying type or a grass type. I realized, I just kind of realized how unprepared I am for, uh, for, um, uh, for the next fight for Turn of City. Uh, she has all these grass types and I, I don't have anything that can really be super effective against grass types. So I need a fire type or I need a flying type, which I know that, uh, 
Jester has peck, but she's a water type. She'll get slaughtered. She'll get, like, which, that, that's not good. So I have to think about what I'm gonna do. And Amethyst is a ground and rock type. Oh no, my team is very unsuited for the next gym. Oh, I need to find a fire type. Is it cheating if I look up where to find fire types? Let me know in the comments below, since I'm not gonna be recording again for another week, a uh, week or two. Uh, if, if it's cheating if I look up where the fire types are. And even then, it's no guarantee I'll even get the fire type because I have to catch the first Pokemon that I find in that route. So, uh, unless it's a duplicate clause. Take two might be one of my only options because I'm gonna have to switch out Amethysts for sure. Amethyst can't be involved in the fight whatsoever. So I'm gonna have to use a, ba a backup Pokemon. People in the comments, let me know what is or isn't allowed in Nuzlocke. Like, if Amethyst is weak to the gym, obviously I don't wanna bring Amethyst into the fight so I could switch in another Pokemon, but then it's kinda cheating if I take time to train that Pokemon and how much is like, how much training is overkilling it? It's kinda hard to, to, uh, to balance out, you know? You don't wanna make the game too easy by just running around and training constantly, especially since you can speed it up in this type of game, if you know what I mean, you can speed up the game itself, um, which I do when I, um, grind, but, uh, I'm just, I am literally just rambling, I have no idea what else to say, uh, let's just get it, finish this fight, um, this has got me a lot of experience, these, these were very experience-filled fights, oh, that was, oof, I actually kind of meant to, like, kind of go around her first, but I guess that works too, um, lots of trainer fights this time, um, uh, man, I really did not think about, um, Oh, that's good, because I can use Lich Life or whatever. Um, I did not think about how bad off I was for this next gym fight. That's going to be a challenge for sure. She has a Roserade that's super powerful, which again is one of my favorite Pokemon. And a Turtwig. She has a... She's, I think she's the only Pokemon uh, gym leader with a starter on her team. With a Turtwig. There's some history there. There we go. Mama Lady Elizabeth. <laughs> Didn't my Pokemon smell nice? I I don't know. I didn't get up close to smell them. Is there anything... Oh, I was gonna say, is there anything up here? And then I just started pressing A and there's an antidote hidden up here. Uh, okay, let's go through here. Up. Oh, okay, here comes another trainer battle. I'm gonna try to avoid her first. There we go. Just because I wanted to, like... I like picking up items and doing this stuff before I fight trainers. It makes me feel more prepared. I, I know it's kind of stupid. Um... I should probably use berry- like, I'll probably give some orange berries to my Pokemon, uh, for gym battle fights. That's something I don't consider cheating at all. Um, potions I consider cheating, because it wastes a move, but, like, berries are, like, a cool mechanic where they can, like, they can eat it on the turn. Um, anyway, let's fight. What kind of Pokemons live around here, I wonder? Ah, Shinx. I, I think this is the first time a trainer has a, sh a Shinx. It's so weird to see the trainers have, like, level, like, 12 Pokemon now. We've, like, we're, we're starting to really ramp things up now. Okay. Oh, 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 does the Shinx have an electric type move? I don't think- it, That's the thing about Shinx and Luxray. I really like the Pokemon, like, the way they look and their stats are solid, but their move pool is pretty garbage. Uh, that being said, I don't know if I want to risk Shinx having an electric type move right now. I don't know if they do. You know what? YOLO. I'm, I'm so sorry I just said that. I, I'm not gonna cut that because the world deserves to know that I had just said that and I deserve to be ridiculed for it. Uh, but, uh, yeah, no, I'm fine. I'm good. I, I I don't know when. When is the first electric type move that Shinx learns? Which is kind of ridiculous. It takes that long. They learn charge before they learn electric, which is an electric type move, but it's only to, like, increase defenses and make electric type moves better. That should have been taught after the first electric type move, but whatever. Sometimes Pokemon move pools are really, really bad. Yes, definitely switch. Patrice, who might know a move. Uh, let's go with... Since we know Amethyst isn't gonna be useful for the next gym fight, I feel like I should focus in on Pokemon that I know can be useful. Like, even Keyless isn't gonna be that useful. Kaminari and Dissa are kind of my best options for the... So, and Take-Two as well, because, uh, Psychic... If, if, if Take-Two can learn a Psychic-type move, um, at some point, hopefully soon, I don't know when, or if I can find a psychic type TM, TM, I don't know, um, then I can do damage on the poison type Pokemon that she has. Oh, god, I really need to teach, uh, take two a different move, because it's not, hidden power is not always going to be effective. Uh, to Kaminari, then!
I love the, the Pokemon cries are so good in this game. I feel like they've gotten worse and worse over the years. Maybe, maybe that's just my nostalgia talking. There might actually be some really good ones, but I just like the Pokemon cries in this game a lot. And I liked how this is the game that introduced the mechanic where if your Pokemon is at half health, like if it's at the yellow, that when you, like, when you summon them or whatever, they kind of go, Arr! it's like a lower tone version, like they're hurt. That's, that's a really, that adds a lot of character to the series. Uh, meanwhile, the new games claim to have such amazing dynamic attack moves to, that that's an excuse for not having like 500 Pokemon be in the next game, and yet their attack moves look identical to these things, where like it's just a little picture that comes up and a little bit of motion, nothing really that crazy. Yep, that's the, that is a good thing I switched out from this, this would have been a gunner. We're at the point now where the electric type Pokemon can be at a level where they know electric type moves. And it's not all normal tackles anymore. Or quick attacks anymore. <laughs> it's, there's more than just that. Defeated Picnic or Sienna? I'm shocked. How did I lose? Oh, I get it. Da -da. Shocked. Okay, um, I'm actually going to leave things off here, halfway, not even halfway, really, through the route. Uh, it's just my time's kind of up for the episode. Uh, thank you for watching. I'm glad that I survived. Um, uh, Mars, not Mercury. I thought it was because I thought it would go in the order of the planets, like Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars, like the Blue's Clues song. Uh, but whatever, I guess not. Um, so I'm glad I defeated Mars. Thank you for joining me in realizing I'm hopefully unprepared, um, hopelessly unprepared for the next gym fight. See you in the next episode. Bye.